Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Sign up now for a $20 free bet. Just use the code IFLTV24. Sign up now. Terms and conditions apply. Andrew McCart, IFL TV. I'm here in Liverpool ahead of Karis Artingstall's fight. But with me, I've got Lauren Price as well. Karis, I'll start with you. You're back in Liverpool. I think this is your sixth fight. Is that right? Seven. Maybe yeah, seventh six, fight? Six, 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 no, six, six, six. Yeah, six. Yeah. You're up against a tough opponent. Just talk to me. How's training camp been and how's this sort of preparation been for this fight? Yeah, it's been a really good camp, to be fair. Dare I say it's probably the best camp I've had. Um, I don't like saying that because I think it's a bit cliche, but it, it really is. I, I feel really good, to be fair. In fact, I feel great, so yeah, I'm just looking forward to fighting now. Good to ask, Lon, you're obviously a fighter, you live together and whatnot, so how much help do you give each other when it comes to training camps? Obviously, you've had a fight recently, a couple of months back, whatever it was, I think it was, and so do you still stay in camp to help Karis? So how does that work? Yeah, uh, obviously, like, we're based in Sheffield, so um, yeah, we, uh, we're always in camp together, but obviously this one's been a bit different, you know, with Christmas, so... Over Christmas, we've we've helped each other out. Um, you know, I've done around a few rounds, well, sparring and bag work and stuff like that. So yeah, we always help each other out. Do you know, do you know what I mean? It's it's hard enough as it is on its own, but it makes it a little bit easier having each other by our side. Good stuff. Well, obviously, British champion and that. What do you want for 2024? Obviously, do you want a title around Joe Waste? I think the mantelpiece can do well a couple more titles on that. So what's next for you in terms of 2024 going forward? I couldn't tell you exactly what's next, but I'd like a world title shot um, this year, most definitely. Um, obviously, Amanda Serrano has got a few of the belts, and then you've got the winner of Sky Nicholson v Sarah Malford. Um, forgive me if that's not how you pronounce her name, but the winner of them or Amanda Serrano is obviously the, the, the route I'm going down. I'd, I'd love a world title shot this year. Amanda Serrano has been there, done it. She's still going strong, probably... But you think of women's boxing, you might think of the Clarissa Shields and the Katie Taylors, but you have to put Amanda Serrano in there as well. So, can you? We know boxing is a crazy old sport, and these we've seen fights happen just out of the blue. How confident are you though that you can get a crack at somebody like Amanda Serrano? Yeah, definitely. Like I'm not in this sport just to be like pissing about down at the bottom of the table. Mm -hmm. And do you know what I mean? I want to be at the top of the table. So. I've got to be fighting and beating the likes of Amanda Serrano to get them titles. So that's my plan for this year. Sky Nicholson, no, it seems like here in the UK, UK-based fighters, you've got Raven Chapman as well, who thinks in your, in your division. So 2024, if you keep in that win column, I mean, there's big fights out for you. Yeah, yeah. definitely, and they're, they're the fights I need to be in. Obviously, you've got the people that are holding the world titles, but there's also the fights along the way, en route to them, that are good for the fans, I think. Like you said just there, Raven Chapman. I think they're cracking fights for the fans and ones I believe I win. So whether they happen sooner rather than later, I'm not too sure, but they're the fights that I'm targeting and asking for in 2024. Exciting times ahead for both of you. So by the end of 2024, we know like women's boxing, although it's taken off and you're, you're producing good fights and we've seen great matchups and 50-50 battles and you're headlining your own shows and whatnot, but we shouldn't really say, care about that anymore, really. But what have you two thought about by this time next year, if I have this microphone in your face, I could be speaking to two world champions? I don't have a clue. Well, hopefully that's the plan. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? That's that's what I'm aiming to do by the end of 2024. I've um, a world title wrap on my way. So hopefully next time you're in... Well, the, when you interview me in 2025, I can say, hey, look at my belt. Like, do you know what I mean? Look you'll have this. the same belt around your waist, right? Yeah, definitely. I'm pushing on, you know, this year. I won them big fights. I'm calling for a, um, obviously, main event uh, this weekend. Uh, Jonas and Maya. Mm. I've put it out there. You know, I'd love the winner or whoever, really, at 147. Sandy Ryan, Jess McCaskill, anyone. Um, you know, I turned over as Olympic champion. I want to be chasing them big fights, and I believe, you know, that uh, I beat them all, and uh, that's what I won this year. The thing is, as well, when your division right now, especially the featherweight division, Amanda Serrano, you can't escape the dangerous fights, the hard fights as well. You just mentioned McCaskill, Sandy Ryan, the, Michaela Meyer, Jonas. You, for you two to become or get a shot at the world title, you've got to go through some very, very tough girls, and I guess you both relish that chance, that opportunity to do that. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, looking at uh, my last opponent, she fought Maya, you know, and she'd give her a good 10 rounds. The opponent before that, she headlined against Savannah. So, you know, I believe that we are fighting good calibre girls. Um, each fight we're stepping up. Same as obviously Karis this weekend. She's fighting a girl that, you know, Raven boxed. And I believe, you know, Karis wins. She wants that fight with Raven. I believe she should have it. And we'll see, you know, who's best in Britain. And, um, 
yeah, I think obviously next year now we need to be pushing on for them big fights, even if they like obviously domestic fights or world titles and uh, yeah, go all the way. This is probably a question for the both of you. Obviously, we mentioned the fights that you could possibly could have the fights. Have you got a message for these girls out there? <laughs> I'm not one to stand there and be like, oh, fucking, come on, let's uh, get it going, like sort of thing, because I know there's stuff outside of my opinion, like me voicing my opinion and them voicing their opinion. There's stuff in the middle of all that. So people on the outside will don't realise what boxing's like, I suppose. But me as a fighter, I'm happy to fight anyone that's ranked above me 100%. Same one. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> anyone, you know, um, we both turn over, been to the Olympics, been on the ice stage, box every style there is. And uh, I believe, you know, the pair of us, we go all the way. Definitely. Well, that'll be exciting times ahead. Hope 2024 is the year that you both stamp your thought and get them big titles. So thanks so much for doing this Fightful TV and good luck Saturday night. Thank thanks you. very much. Thank you. Thank you. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Sign up now for a $20 free bet. Just use the code IFLTV24. Sign up now. Terms and conditions apply.